Hello. Hi, welcome back. It's us, Nicole. And Tessa. And Kim is here. Oh, who are you? Are we you forgot an to ask you who you are. <laughs> Are you Carter? Is that the is that David Arquette? Are you gonna leave you and want to get back in here? She's gonna be banging on the door halfway through. Can I get back in? You're the cutest one. Just that's about. right. <clears throat> well, we're gonna have to get into that because we're talking about Airheads yes. for the 30th anniversary. Yes, it came out a couple days from now. I in 1994. So. 1994. So it is 30 years old. If you didn't feel old, <clears throat> oh you yeah, do now. <laughs> As that creaky gate in your throat. Old. All right, Crypt Keeper. I was 14 when this movie came out. I was 12. And I remember, I maybe saw it in the theater because no. it was Brendan Fraser. No. And I was really into Encino Man, but I don't know. Well, that was the thing about this movie is that Polly Shore did not want this movie made. Did not want this movie made. It needs to be Encino Man 2 or nothing. He wanted to have Encino Man 2. And instead... I know. I why know, can't they, they do, could both? do both? Why is it Why one not or the both? other? Because no one wanted to do an Encino Man too. Maybe I don't know, but anyhow. So instead of after they were like, "No, fuck you, we're doing it," he tried to get onto Airheads. Do you know as which character? I don't know. The, did it I'll say? look up as just we go anything. through the. Maybe yeah, just anything, anywhere. <clears throat> Write me a stony character. <laughs> so I'm going to tear the bandaid off for you guys right off the top and let you know that for me, Nicole. This movie did not necessarily hold up to time. No. <laughs> I remember loving this movie, but I also, this is not one I revisit often. And I feel yeah. like it may have been at least 25 years since I've rewatched this. Yeah. And it was fine. It was a mid 90s comedy. It was It was fine. A SNL adjacent, but not, it wasn't a Lorne Michaels. It was, <laughs> right. It was, you know, it had Farley and Sandler and. Yeah. But yeah, it was. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. But we're going to make something of it. Tessa, did you still enjoy it? I did. I really did. I really still liked it. It had been a long time since I had seen it, but I, I mean, it wasn't like, it was never. Like I said, it's not bad. I didn't no. watch it and go, what the fuck? I just wasn't no, like, but it's oh like my God, good, I love if it, it. If it comes on, if it's like on free TV or if it's like on, and I'm like, oh shit, I Airheads. I have like, just be on ever. I have never also that well it's not available anywhere. That's, that's also part of the problem. There you go. It's also not available anywhere. But we found out research assistant Liana loves this movie. Oh yeah, that's it's one like of her, her comfort films. Mm -hmm, that's her comfort film, which I could see I that. I could see it being a comfort film. I could see that. Like because I like to put those kinds of movies on where I don't have to pay attention to. Yeah. It. I know exactly what's going to happen. Yes. Because everything, like I said, I hadn't watched this movie in a long time. And as it went on. Oh yeah. I knew exactly what was going to yes, happen. Yes, for sure, for Maybe sure. Maybe a thing here and there where I thought Ian was going to be a roadie. And I was like, roadie? He's going to be their manager. <sighs> Spoiler alert. It's a 30-year-old movie, guys. So who do we got in this film? Um, I forgot what I was looking at. Brendan Fraser. 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 Yes, Adam Sandler. You have to pronounce it Fraser. As Chaz Darby. Chester. Chaz Darby. Ogilvy. 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 What was in, wasn't that a hair thing? Ogilvy, yeah. No. Yes. Ogilvy? No. Yes, yeah, something. Something's Ogilvy. When they were like, bah, 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 Ogilvy. Yes, that sounds right. Shampoo, I think. Oil. Or hair or oil? Maybe. Like, like, or are you thinking of... Oh, no, that's hot, V8 not hot VO, oil. Not VO5. 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 Like, VO8. V8. VO8. V8. 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 V05. The hot oil in your V8. I'm not thinking about that, but I feel like it was something like, bah, 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 Ogilvy. What was oh that? well, we well whatever. Kim looking it up while we talk about the cast. Ovaltine. Ovaltine. Yeah, I know. Maybe, maybe that's it's just what I'm that. thinking about. And uh, Steve Buscemi, 
as, as Rex. Rex, the bassist, who I had to have, I had to come to terms <laughs> the, with the fact that you found him the most attractive in this. Yes, because he's the only one that looks real. I feel like that's his hair. Yeah, it didn't look like a wig. If it was it a wig, really they did. got his real hair down real flat. Yeah, yeah. Because it seemed real, it whereas seemed Brendan like Fraser seemed like it was attached to that bandana. It seemed like <laughs> Gerardo. Yes, he had, he had a, a Rico Suave. He had a Rico Suave. But yeah, I had to come to terms that like while all of them could get it, but kind of not Adam Sandler, who's next on this list, because it seems like it would be like a crime. Because like he diminished seems slow. capacity. Yeah, he's yeah. like a Fabian. It seems like, like it would is be that a allowed? crime. I don't know. It's okay for Susie because she's also a Fabian. She's also so it's like fine. that. So they're like on equal footing. Yeah. But I feel like I would be taking advantage of Pip. Maybe that's his game. <laughs> right? That's how he... Mm. Maybe that's It's his a game. pumpkin situation. Did you oh, ever watch that movie? No, but I know what it's about. And that's oh, why I so haven't disturbing. seen that movie. That's why I haven't seen that movie. Uh, Ogilvy Perms. Ogilvy oh, Perms. Perms. Yes. Yes, oh. yes, yes, yes. At home Perms. A home uh -huh. perm. Trauma. Wow. I don't know. I had a perm, but I don't think I ever did it. You at know home what? Perm. I have so much hair. I'm gonna have you perm my fucking that hair. Smell. I know. I want to <laughs> smell it. I'm gonna give you the share moonstruck. <gasps> oh, oh, oh! You have oh, enough hair. Oh, you have enough hair to you give you the moonstruck. Can you give me the turn back time? Bob Mackie Maybe. butt cheeks out. I mean, you gotta get the outfit. I can't. I'll do it. I'm like, I'll I get can't a tattoo on my ass cheeks. What was the tattoo of? It's just, it was like a wiggly line. Oh, no. Oh. What is there? There was something what else. Cher's was ass tattoos? Oh, I thought you were going to get Cher with her butt out. <laughs> a yes! tattoo of Cher with her ass out on your ass. Yes, I'm going to get Cher on that fucking Navy shit. Oh, my God. Riding a fucking Navy gun. Uh, a one whole cheek. A one whole cheek <laughs> dedicated to Your Cher. husband's going to love that's this. That's the only person that's ever going to see it except for everybody in the world. Because if I had that. You like, have to take I'm a photo. I'm showing fucking everybody. And especially if it's only one cheek, you can't even fully see. Like, I'm going to do it on the it butt an angle. that has the dent from the scar. And I'm going to incorporate that somehow. Yeah. She's going to shoot. The ship is dented. The it's... ship, she's going to, on the big old gunship, she's going to shoot my other butt cheek and I'm going to have a little cannonball coming And weirdly, out Cher kind of relates in this movie because Beavis and Butthead make yes! an appearance. So which they also the, did. Uh, I got you, babe. They did. I got you, babe, do with America. Cher. Yes. We got to do Beavis and Butthead do America. If All we don't right. do All right. show, if we don't we do the do show. A whole, <clears throat> I feel like we got to do a whole thing. Uh, oh, so we did Adam, so, yeah, Sandler's, Adam Pip, Sandler's Chris Pip, Farley he's the drummer. as Wilson, who's a cop. Right. Uh, Michael McKeon as Milo Jackson, who Judd, is the station manager. Yeah. Judd Nelson as Jimmy Wing, the record executive. executive. Michael Richards as Doug Beach as the KPPX accountant. Oh, is that who he's supposed That's to be? That's what the accountant? it said on the okay. uh, list. Ernie Hudson is, is it Captain O'Malley or just Officer Sergeant O'Malley? Sergeant O'Malley. Sergeant O'Malley. Uh, Joe Mantegna. Has Ian. Ian the, the shark. shark. Uh, he's a DJ. Amy Locaine. I never would have thought we would have done another an Amy Locaine. Right? Movie, especially one in which she's driving crazy. Oh, oh, no. oh, Amy. Amy. Is she back in jail? I I could not believe that they could do that. I could Isn't that not double believe jeopardy that they or could some do shit? That. No, they didn't even try didn't her try again. Her you again. can't they try her again. They just her. were like, you know what? You didn't serve enough time. I mean, she... Someone died. Yes. Someone died. So Which will come up again. I know. About a little vehicular. Wasn't it vehicular manslaughter? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was something like that. All, connected. All connected. But like, huh, I don't know. But I never would have thought, because I couldn't remember. Who did I say was supposed to be her? Christina Applegate. Oh, was, was supposed to play Kayla. Kayla. Right. And she could have totally done it. This oh, was yeah. I thought it was her. Past Kelly Bundy forgotten. days, but same I character. I forgot that it was Amy Locaine. He does. A little Steve bit, yeah. He kind of does look like a young John Waters. He does. Um, Nina Samasco as I, Susie. That's what I would have thought. Susie with two Zs. Yeah. I was Suzy. writing so many Zs. I like to write my Suzy. Zs. Between Chaz and Susie. With two Zs and an I. Uh, yeah. Uh, Marshall Bell as Carl Mace. And is he not Coato's yes. house? Yes. Coato's <laughs> house. <laughs> Whatever you host. His host. Wait. Uh, I had just yes. watched Total Recall the other day, and then I watched day. this, and I was like, "Wait a minute! Yes, 
That's he's, a guy. He's Quato's house. I don't know his real name, but he's I don't Quato's, know Quato's house. Whose house? <laughs> Who's house? <laughs> Quato's house. house. Uh, Reg E. Kathy as Marcus. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Arquette as Carter. And that's all I have. You have any oh, else? I have lots more. Okay, go. Michelle Hurst as Yvonne. Harold Ramis as Chris Moore, the undercover detective. Alan Covert as Officer Sam. Alan who, Covert? Who's the first guy that showed up there. And then I have Rob Zombie as himself. Of course. White Zombie as themselves. Kurt Loder as himself. That's right. Lemmy Kilmeister as the uh, school magazine editor. Is that who he's supposed to be? That's what it says. Okay. Stuttering John Melendez as the masturbating guy. <laughs> Uh, the Galactic Cowboys as Sons of Thunder and Mike Judge Cowboys. as Beavis and yes, Butthead. So that's all I got. Okay. So we open up at KPPX Rebel Radio. I have no recollection of these opening credits. Do you? No, I well, oh, no, of the like stop motion animation nope. kind of style. It looks like a Peter Gabriel video. Yeah, kind of. I like it, but I have no recollection of it. No, but again, I had not watched this I must in a have super seen long it on time. TV. Or, or cable, because again, like I had cable, yeah, or basic cable. Must be wasn't there that middle middle ground? By the time there was nineteen ninety, like yes, MTV where you was didn't basic get cable like HBO, comedy. but yes, you could get right, right, right. HBO, there yeah, was like Comedy middle, Central, middle Nickelodeon, stuff. Yeah, all yeah, that yeah. shit. So I feel like maybe I would have seen it on something like that. And so you meet real quickly Joe Mantegna, mm-hmm. Ian the Shark. He's the right. rock and roll DJ at KPPX, the exactly. Rebel Radio. Mm-hmm. Then Chaz, Brendan Fraser. Oh, yeah. You see him in this 95 degree heat coming up Sunset Boulevard. trying Going over to Palatine Records to yes. sneak their demo tape in. In a delivery man. And this is not his first rodeo no, here. It he is, is known. Not. It he is, is known not. to the staff here. Yeah, that we're at the radio station at KPPX Rebel Radio, where they have more hair, more flair, more debonair Rebel Radio. So he goes down to the record company. He stops this executive in the hall, which is mm-hmm. Judd Nelson. Right, and he was like, "No, this is unsolicited." With we his only take flavor his saver flavor and saver. no mustache, no Just oh flavor God. saver only. It stinks. <laughs> It Are we talking about sticks. the critic? What's happening? It was the same times. But he tells him, no, you're de- this is unsolicited material. I can't even touch right. this. He gets kicked out for who knows the right. dozen, he, 25th time. Security is already on top of this, Rose. So now, back at this apartment, Kayla comes home from her work at the porn factory. Or wherever the, the fuck she works. The 90s porn factory that she clearly... She looks like fucking... Um, well, she looks like a 90s porn star, but she looks like Ginger Lynn... Oh, that name is familiar. If you saw her, you'd know. Okay. But that's who she looks <clears> like <throat> to me. And like, that's what she gives me in this whole thing. She was also, she was the one that was fucking Sid Haig and House of a Thousand Corpses. Oh, okay. But she's, she's a porn star. Okay. From the 90s. But that's what she looks like. And that, meanwhile, Chaz is shirtless on the couch with this oh. baby bear chest. I know, with his little like his little tattoos and his little nipples out. When I naked swear in the out. very first scene, and because I was watching it, you know where, mm. and trying to rewind that shit is like, oh, don't I even know. bother. Like it's all... But I could swear that in the very first scene where he's laying there shirtless on the couch, he had no tattoo. Because oh. I really noticed how naked his chest seemed oh, because it was so was hairless like and little... so bare. That little lizard. And then when it flashed back, he had, I swear to God, it didn't have it in the first scene. And then suddenly he had the lizard over his nipple. I didn't realize. I'm not positive. You guys. I didn't realize that. If you find it somewhere where you can rewind it or pause it. Nipple tattoo. Yeah, it's not available like anywhere, like even to rent it. I know. So, yes, but I had told Tessa when she was talking about finding Steve Buscemi attractive, I was like, I can't even, I felt bad even thinking Brendan Fraser was cute because of how hairless he was. Like, I know he's probably in his 20s. Right, like, he's a full but adult. But he had not even one singular nipple hair. I know. And, like, and you know that, like, Rex has several. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so it was just, I felt I felt wrong about yeah, being well, attracted like, to him in this. Like, being attracted or, like, giving it up to Pip. Like, it would be right? wrong. Right. It would it be wrong. wrong. He can't make those kinds of decisions. So yeah, his girlfriend's like, "You're a fucking loser. You haven't you done anything for months." You spilled my makeup months. in the fucking toilet. Oh. 
in her leopard the whole box. body suit. Yes. Over the hosiery. So uncomfortable. Well, she works in an office where she has to smoke and drink coffee all day. Oh, uh, and I have to go. I got to be like up and down the strip trying to trick people into listening to my demo all day. Come and on. I'm sorry. At least Pip and Rex he's have a not fucking job. That cute. No. He is not that cute. not like, have a job, cute. Period. But you own a delivery and driver uniform. Right? Go deliver some fucking packages, right? mister. I need to be a rocker and nothing else. And we find out when she throws all his shit over the balcony and kicks him out and yes. he goes to Rex that Rex and Pip, who are brothers, they are both employed. Yes. Pip has he his own pool see cleaning Rex company. At the fucking, what does he work at? Like Rex Toys works R at a toy store. The fuck. And like he picks up. Remember when crash test dummies were a thing? Yes, and how weird there was, was the that? Commercials. And why is Pip making out with it? I don't know. He's a but yes, to the crash commercials of the crash test dummies. There were drunk dummies. driving yeah. commercials where yep. they. I thought you meant the band. Amy Locaine. <laughs> Amy Locaine. Remember when they had those crash test yeah, dummies commercials for drunk driving? Right. Oh, the Once connections. The connections. There was this girl who ran got over an accident <laughs> and killed somebody. Fuck. But yep. man, isn't that what that's she about? She finally got out. <laughs> they <laughs> said, bitch, you have got to go right back. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, now he's got to go stay <laughs> with these brothers. And he's talking shit to them about, like, they're not devoting enough time to the band because they have they to, like, have their... jobs to live by themselves. Because right. they live in their own, like, it's a dank, yeah, it's dirty, a little apartment. shitty apartment. But, but still. they have it all, like, egg crated out where they're, like, jamming in there. Yeah. Could you imagine being neighbors with that shit? I could in my 20s. Neighbors to the Lone Rangers? Which. <laughs> the Lone Rangers. You know what? I saw a thing where, like, that, it's, it's precedent because also. The lone gunman from True. the X Files. The There's more than the one of them. There was three of them. Yeah. So maybe three lone rangers. Right. You could have united. Three is okay. Anything more than that's egregious. That's too much. <laughs> and so yeah, he's Rex has taken all these toys from work, and part of it is crash test dummy dolls, and part of it is these toy guns. Right. Before they had to put the orange tips this, on the end. Is this the thing? Is this what he's talking about? Was that they got uh, discontinued? Well, he says they got discontinued because they looked too real. So probably. But I feel like it's they were getting same rid of time. them because mm -hmm. around that time, that's what they were doing. Because I made a note about that as well. And he fills it up with hot sauce. Right. To just like well, because if any be their security. scummy person comes up the stairs. And they have I'll that Stretch Armstrong shit. doll tied Again, the stretch in the doorway and they squirt that. Mm -hmm. And so then the whiskey. And now we talked about this before, but yes. so I don't know if you all know this. Yeah. But in 1994, if you wanted to play a show at the whiskey, I can tell you, you for a known fact. Do it. You show up to the whiskey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you say, I want to play the whiskey. And they go, here's 200 tickets. Give me five hundred dollars. Now go sell those and tickets, also, and if you is make, this, or is this not like in the middle of the week? Also, like it's probably a Wednesday do... night show or whatever. Mm, right. So yeah, no, probably not on a Saturday night. Then there no. might be a big band, maybe. But almost any other night of the week besides mm -hmm. a Friday or a Saturday, mm -hmm. it was a pay to play. Yeah, I had a boyfriend in a band who played the whiskey. They were not a good band. <laughs> Sorry if you're listening. They were not a great band. It was right. a punk band in the '90s. I mean, I mean it was okay. I don't know if it was as good as the Lone Rangers. <laughs> or what was the other, what's the name of the other band? Oh, uh, the Galactic the Sons something. of Thunder. Or Sons of Thunder, yeah. The Sons of Thunder is the fictional, it's the Galactic Cowboys is an actual band. That's who they are. But so all of this, like, so a big part of this movie couldn't have happened now because the internet, but like, they didn't have to wait to get signed or wait to get discovered to play a show at no. the whiskey. They just had to go sell but tickets to their friends. But she wanted to like play a show at the whiskey or the Rainbow Room or like, you know, where like yeah, Guns all of and them Roses were like that. hangs out. All if you of were them were doing like, that. like, if it was show, if it showed up in a Guns and Roses video, you had to be there. Of course, it's the jungle, baby. Welcome to the you're gonna die. So you see Michael McKeon there at the oh, Sons yeah. of Thunder concert with Ian, who's introducing the band and talking right, about and like that they fucking suck. Right, he's talking all kinds of shit. Yeah. yeah, 
And the band's up there thanking him for playing them on the radio. Yes, and which that's is how what they got, got him signed. this big break mm-hmm. and got them signed and all this other shit. And that's what Chaz is out there is like, that's what we got to do, man. We got to get signed. Right. Get I wonder how much they paid to get in there. To get in. To get to the, t- to have the ticket or whatever, to like get into the whiskey. Because they went, right? In 1994, <clears throat> 10 bucks. Well, yeah, a, I know. A, but like, did they, did they know somebody? At the door. Right. Maybe they just got in. Right. So now they're plotting to get the radio to play their tape so they can get signed. Right. They're in the van. Like it goes straight van, from like, like the night before we saw this to... show to now we're going to do a fake heist on the fucking radio well, station. They're not even really talking it's about not, that. Yeah. They're yet. not they're even like, talking whatever. about any of that. It just kind of happens. Rex is the one talking about like if anybody does some shit. Well, first Pip tells him, you remember Doper Greg? <laughs> Doper Greg went down there and he was like, he used to blow bong rips at his iguana and tried to make his iguana watch. Is it cr- Stacy Keach? Probably. Doper Greg sounds like Stacy Keach to totally. me. And he would make him like whatever. And he's like gesturing with his big gulp, which is as big as my drink. This is a big gulp. Uh huh. But yeah. And he was like, they went down to the radio station. He won a giveaway and they wouldn't even, they like put tongs right. out. There's, through you the can't thing. get, like you, you can't, can't just get walk in there. In. And that is when Rex is talking about, oh, if anybody gives me any shit. And he's got his little water gun machine gun. Right. And he was like, remember that kid on hard copy? Right. Who the- that had the fucking uh-huh. gun and all he got was tased. Yeah. There was. Several people would like a word. There's definitely a reason why they outlawed those fake. Well, squirt yeah, guns. but like even after that, like just playing with a toy gun gets you fucking shot, not tased. It could. So they go in. The receptionist is playing. Well, I forgot to look up what was that video game? Like what handheld system was that that she had? But it she's playing like, like a, Game uh, Gear or something. It looked like a Sega. Sega maybe. And so, and they're just in broad daylight. They've yeah, decided tr- to do well, this. They're trying to. Because Pip, doesn't he say some shit about he's got that uh, code when he goes, like he's got that secret code for the gates when he goes into whatever residentials to clean their pools? Is that what he tried? Because isn't that what they're trying tried, to do? He put his credit card in the slot and they tried his PIN oh. number for the ATM. Oh, is that what he yes, was saying? I that thought was it was just like a like secret his, code. No. Oh, that's That hilarious. was like his ATM card and, and then it ate his ATM card. Did that little thing spray painted on the side of his van did that look familiar to you yes and oh god what did it remind me of it was fido like a clown something thing? with yes fido dido maybe what's fido dido fido Fuck. dido that just came the, to me but the when way you said the... that it was like a weird that angular thing yes and also a little bit of thomas and nardo uh-huh. but what was the fido dido it was something it was a soft drink mascot a soft drink oh. mascot Really? Show me the picture. What's the picture of Fido it's black Dido? And white, is it not? Yes, Fido Dido. That's yes. what it reminded me of. Uh huh. How weird. And also a little bit of Thomas and Nardo, but something. There was something with a clown. Maybe it was the clown from Betty Boop. Oh. oh a little yes, bit. Maybe. A little bit of that. Maybe. A little bit of Max Headroom. A was little bit like because like it a had top? like that. I don't know. Now I might be imagining things, know, but it, it was it was reminding me of something I was hoping that you would have noticed. And it was like, oh, yeah, that's... I did notice the art, but I didn't but know yes, exactly Fido what it was. Dido was definitely part of it. Maybe a little pepper and pepper and OK. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that was a thing like uh, yeah, the thing I'm that he sure. put on there for if it was just a thing from no that. clue. Someone tell me. Tell me, release me from this spell. So Rex tries to blow some soda into the slot to short it out. That does not work. No, that makes it worse. He and Chaz climb up on the roof. And meanwhile, Pip gets smacked in the face with the door by Susie, mm-hmm. who's, who's going, going out, out for on a smoke s- break. To smoke a parliament. Pol- oh, no, a yeah, parliament. parliament. That's right. I used to get those. And because they had those recessed mm-hmm. filters, you'd blow on it. And it became a habit to blow on it when I stopped smoking those. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't ever the smoke little... them regularly, so. It wasn't regularly. It was just a moment. Like, there was also a moment that I smoked Benson and Hedges. There was, okay, like, a moment Andrew Dice that Clay. I, I smoked Benson and Hedges for a moment. I smoked Chesterfields for a moment. Yes, I definitely smoked Chesterfields. I smoked parliaments for a moment and i feel like that's the one with the recess filter that you'd blow in the first pack of cigarettes i ever bought 
I did not know. I didn't have a brand. Mm. And when they asked me what kind of cigarettes, all I could think of was the cigarettes my mom used to smoke when I was a kid. And I got Misty's. Virginia Slim oh. Ultralights. Close. Close. <laughs> well, because the only Virginia ever Slims. the only thing that I had a reference for was either Liana's dad, who smoked Winston's, mm-hmm. and my old man that smoked Cowboy Killers. He smoked Marble Marbles. Reds. Yeah. So that's what I used to smoke, and I didn't like Marlboro Reds that much. Then I switched to Camels, and it was like a whole fucking thing. Because I worked at that cigarette store, I tried you every just, brand. Well, anytime it was like an energy drink or a fucking whatever. Anytime there was something new. Remember when Try they the had the Camel Reds? Yes. And the, what was it, the gold? What are the fancy, the different colored ones? And they came in the flat gold oh, box, Sherman's. and there was the Sherman's, Nat Sherman's, Nat and there was Sherman's. the mint ones, Those and the, the rainbow ones. ones. that my mom used to smoke like in high school and it was like the thing to smoke like the the when you were going to Sherman's. the club yeah, you got you rainbow cloves. shermans or you, oh, got, or you cloves. got cloves yeah i yeah. would get cloves for the club cloves i got cloves for, show. for shows yeah cloves for shows cloves for the barn <laughs> to go to the barn <laughs> to the fucking what was the other place in um the showcase yes yeah the yeah. barn and the showcase yep so anyway, she goes out for a smoke <laughs> and hits him in the face, but he, yes. she ends up going back in, but he stops the mm. door with his foot or something or. No, 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 no. Chaz drops the bag. Oh, he drops the bag and stops the door. Mm-hmm. That's right. And so they go in and Kramer, I keep, I just Kramer. wrote him as well, Kramer that, through this whole fine thing. Because it looks like Dong throughout the rest of my notes. Kramer is with Michael McKeon in his office mm. talking about some shady something, breaking the news to, about something. Right. Like they're talking about restructuring. Like we, we know because we've seen this movie what they're talking about, but it seems like shady dealings. So the band goes straight into Ian's booth, like on air, right. while he's on air. Yeah. Just walks straight in, goofy fucking. And they're like, we're here. Yeah. Hello. We want, want you to hear our demo. We're a band. And he's like, get out. Right. Get the fuck out of here. And then when they start talking about breaking into the station, he's like, oh, this is content. He flips right. that he on like air sign back that, on. Like, he was you all, did what now? On. You did what now? Right. Because deep down, he's a rocker, he's man. He's a rocker. Like, who do you think he's supposed to be? Supposed to be a little bit Howard Stern, but Howard Stern wasn't really a no, radio no, no, music. No, he DJ. wasn't like a DJ. Is he, he was giving a, you like a? Brendan Fraser did tell Howard Stern it was influenced. Yeah, Brendan oh, Fraser well, told Howard Stern it was influenced by him, but you he know was that we're a funnier than Howard Stern. Or, we're funnier oh, that's right. than Howard Stern. You guys, if you didn't know, Michael DeLuise, that's right, the son of Dom DeLuise, <laughs> told us that we're funnier. Than Howard Stern, and it is on our business card. And that is on our business card. <laughs> that and a quote from Julie Brown. Ms. Julie Brown. Which said, we Oh love my her God. Forever. What does it even say? What's the quote? It was like, You, you guys are, are so, so funny. funny. <laughs> we had to have some celebrity quotes. Celebrity quotes. endorsements. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, who do you think? Um, who was like a ro- who, who was like a radio DJ at that time in the 90s? I'm trying to think of like no like, names, Richard Blade, but he's not <laughs> Richard but Blade. Not Richard Blade. <laughs> Who was like the, like a, now I'm thinking of MTV. Uh, yeah, and, and that's not I'm that either. Like Ricky Rackman, and that's not correct. Right, that's not right. Who was the Ricky Rackman But he Rackman was a little bit Ricky Rackman, I a think. A little. Hmm. Huh. Maybe it wasn't someone local to California. Maybe, Maybe it, it was a DJ somewhere well, else. Well, they are, they are in, that was the whole thing when they keep saying if it's too loud or too old, that mm-hmm. was the Kanak line, apparently. The, oh, Okay. That was the and that's local, or whatever. Yeah, California. I don't know what it is now, but that's what it but was. That was like a. It was like a rock station. I feel like. So Ian mm. starts asking them like about their music. What's your vibe? Right. And they're like, uh, I think what did they say? Power slop or something like that. Right. Like say? I don't. They're like we don't really like to be grouped. We don't like with, to be. Yeah. Like we don't like labels. Like we don't box ourselves in. And meanwhile, Milo hears this on the radio and heads over. Like get these fucking dudes right, out of like, here. Like what the fuck is going on here? Get them out of here. And he tries to like yank them out of the room, and that's when Rex pulls his fake gun. Right. Well, he was like, hey man, someone gave you a break, even though you're a goon. Mm-hmm. And then that's when Rex pulls the piece. And he's like, oh shit. Shit, he's got a gun and all this is on the radio. Right. And he's like, shut up, Dick Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Mr. Smoke. Richard Smoker, you're a poopy poker. <laughs> Chardonnay and from? cocaine in the spuds ween. Oh, okay. Okay. Something, okay. something, crystal meth. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. 
And so they are, Chaz calls out, like, he starts talking about like, Judd Nelson and, and like, like how this, this yeah. record exec, Jimmy Wing, and mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And meanwhile, Kramer hears all this happening and sees that, like, there's a hostage situation mm-hmm. happening and he calls the cops. Right. So and Milo tells Ian, fine, play the demo. When they talk about, did he talk, is he saying gank you? For when? When Ooh. he's like, uh, when Chaz calls out Jimmy, Doug calls the cops, and then all I have the thing next was gank you. That's not my understanding of ganked. Like you got, I don't know. I didn't hear that part. And it wasn't about you. stealing. It was like gank like, you, kill you, right? I mean, gank a motherfucker. Like, well, I guess that's what he was talking about. But I thought you were ganking it, like I was stealing it. Oh, I oh. What is my knowledge of? I mean, I remember that word, but I haven't of, heard anybody use ganking in a well, minute. Well, that's so. what I'm saying. My understanding of of gank was, was like I ganked it. Yeah, like oh. I I swiped it. I ganked it. Okay, it didn't okay, mean stealing. Well, that, okay, so that was my understanding of ganked, and I feel like he was using ganked as I'm gonna shoot. You. I'm gonna shoot you, huh? And I didn't even, and I did hear it, and I didn't, I didn't think about it, but yeah, I think you're right. Oh. Fucking Mandela. Wow. Change meanings but in the 90s. Then Dr. Dre. Oh. Did Dr. Dre change the meaning? Kind of changed it to mean. Oh, fuck. Oh, he said something about Oh, my about God. I somebody? forgot about Dre. <laughs> Bitch. That's you know what, though? One I million have not years forgotten dungeon. about those allegations. <laughs> Again. He saw you. I saw that video. Too. I heard about it. I heard about it. So anyway, he's they go to play their demo and they have it on fucking reel to reel in right, 1994. Because it was like it sounds like shit. Like he's like a true, a true rock douchebag. Like he wants it to sound like it's because his name is Chester. Chester Ogilvy. He was probably in the marching band, and he's like, "Look, he's I like know a musical quality, nerd. Mister. I, you ought to play it on the reel to reel, or my vocals sound I'm terrible." I'm just telling you that those folks. Which guys? The, the band. Um, because he, Gank then got it morphed to killing within like role playing games. Oh, oh, it's like it ganked means killing in like D and D now. Yeah. Maybe that's why we gotta ask our husbands. husbands. I know they play a little bit of that. I don't. I hadn't heard because I don't play. They do. Metal guys, they are kind of nerdy, so maybe. maybe. Well, they got it. I'm just saying, my understanding of ganked has always been to Stole. fucking. And now that you say it, that it's yeah, snatch. I ganked, ganked it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. Right. So I guess double meaning. Yeah, I guess so. What is that? Some cracker slang? So Chaz <laughs> sends the boys with Milo to go find a reel to reel deck, and Marcus yeah. is down there. They got to. They make Marcus get this reel to reel working. He's like, hey, white man with a gun, just like it's been for. Oh no, that's not until later when he talks about all that. I think and so. That's yeah. The guy. Wait. No. What's he from? Reg E. Kathy. What else is he in? Oh, oh wait, God. I still have I my IMDB open behind here. I, what is it? What is he from? Reggie I feel like Kathy. I almost got him mixed up with Giancarlo De Carlo or whatever the fuck that guy's the name. The guy from like Breaking Bad and whatever. Yes, I feel like I got Have you mixed seen up those ads that. with him and Spike Lee for Fiat? No. Him I and have Spike not. Lee are selling Fiats together. He Fix was, it again, Tony. The mask. Who was? Who was in the mask? Oh yes. He was. He was one of the bad guys. Mm-hmm. He was one of the bad guys Please. in the mask. But I got him mixed up with, or no, is he's not in Monkey Bone, is he? Because of that on, might I'm be the scrolling. other guy. I'm scrolling. I'm only to like t- 2004. Because that's Tank, what I'm saying. I feel Tank like that's. Tank Girl. DT and Tank Girl. Yes. He's one, oh my yes, God. He's one of the kangaroo the guys, huh? Kangaroo. Yes. He's oh, the bitch. jazz yes. ripper. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, okay. Uh huh. No. Okay. And Monkey Bone though was that not Giancarlo? Whatever. Who I get him mixed up with? Oh. Oh, Esposito. Yes. Giancarlo. Giancarlo. Esposito. I was all Giancarlo De Carlo. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Giancarlo De Carlo. He was a homeless man in American Psycho. Uh, yes. He He's was dirty he... D in Pootie Tang. Low down. I wish I was allowed girl, to still like Pootie Tang. I'm God damn like, it. Why can't we? Louis C.K. Uh, I was all a Louis C.K. joint. Way and keep my name out your oh, mouth. what I saw him on most down. recently Sorry. because I watched it again was The Machinist. Reggie oh, Kathy was in The that. Machinist. That's a is that the Christian that Bale where he weighs like eighty eight pounds? Never have I seen it. Ooh, What's he's that scary about looking. Even? He's a machinist, which we have several <laughs> listeners. We have several listeners, patrons, I, in fact, I will who do this you. job for a living. 
You work I'll with fucking hit you. You How machine you? fucking sm- small metal shit or whatever. It's like one of those jobs where you like. What does it mean? It's so many different things. I don't know how to explain it. It's like sometimes you make bolts or sometimes you make big things. It's like all. It's but it's metal machining. It's like using okay. these crazy machines that are programmed with a computer to like water cut and laser okay. cut and okay. machine these very fine parts or whatever. Okay. But it's about right. this guy who. Because he's got some psychological problems that like keep him from eating and sleeping. Is and it because? I don't think it's because he's a machine. Why is it called that? Because none of the other ones are super fucked up like he is. I don't know. You know what? Because no. that's all he does no. is like no. daydream no. and sleepwalk no. and be a machinist. No. No, I won't. It was just an excuse to make Christian Bale lose all of his fucking I know, body and then weight. Didn't right after that, didn't he immediately play Dick Cheney after that? And Where he, he like, got had to get really fat, weight. probably. I feel like it wasn't long in between. Well, no, he just does that shit. That's He's just what he does. Method actor. Yeah, 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 but for then sure. He left the mole on his nose grow extra big. I what? don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Dick Cheney shot someone in the face. <laughs> Uh, and they lived. And before we go to break, the only other note I had about this scene is Michael Richards is doing all the physical comedy alone in his hideout. Like there's right, nobody like, to appreciate. No, the, no one can see this. And he has like almost no effect on this plot line whatsoever, except for that he's the one who ends up bringing a gun in in the next act. But like all of his shenanigans are for naught, basically. You know what? I feel like I read something about someone's part getting cut back but i also i fucked up again Uh oh you watched read, another thing no i read in. i read i read ahead so i'm just not gonna say shit let's go to break we'll be right back <laughs> if you're a fan of practical magic or the sookie stackhouse books and love shows like absolutely fabulous and the golden girls you're in for a treat with this new paranormal comedy house of furies by donnie clark The Fury family, which Alex, his sister Agatha, and their long-suffering mother Rose inherit a rambling mansion in Natchitoches, Louisiana from their reclusive uncle Edwin, along with a heap of trouble. Their secret passageways, magical objects, even a cemetery instead of a backyard, and it comes with a friendly caretaker named Earl who's not what he seems. Cocktails, outrageous outfits, and black magic are the order of the day. Join them as they explore the southern fried town, dip a toe in the local dating pool, and meet their neighbor Helen, who harbors a very old and very dark secret. House of Furies by Donnie Clark, available to purchase on Amazon, $4.99 for Kindle and $21.99 for paperback. And we're back. We are back. And the reel to reel is ready. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, we do have it. <laughs> Incoming news. <laughs> Here's the plot description of The Machinist. Be careful. A 2004 psychological thriller film, mm-hmm. I don't directed by starring. Who we know. Cares? Is uh, Christian Bale is the title character, a machinist struggling with paranoia and delusion after okay. being unable to sleep for an entire year. That's okay. what it is. Okay. He hasn't slept right, in so a he year. So he ripped Van Winkles. Or no, it's the no, opposite. opposites. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And okay. so it's See, really now, dangerous because that's he's a machinist. What I was asking. And he works with these big machines and he hasn't slept. So, so it's he's like bad news. And he's yeah, going to yeah. lose a finger uh-huh. at uh-huh. least. Does he lose a finger? No, I think you that he me. maybe does something where Reg E. Kathy loses a limb or something. Oh, okay. I feel like there's, mm. I think he's also a machinist. I feel like this is going to be the kind of thing when I watched um, Speak No Evil thinking it was a horror movie, and it is, but it's just horrific. It's not really a horror movie. Yeah, there's this no is fucking a psychological monsters. thriller. Did you know they were making that with James McAvoy? Which one? Speak No Evil. No. The one that... Your husband told you not to watch because don't, 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 don't. There's no ghosts. There's no demons. It's just horrendous human beings. And it's horrific, but it's not a horror movie. So just, if you really want to, if you really, really want to, go ahead. But, (laughs) so back to our lighthearted comedy. Yes, please. Can we? The reel to reel is ready. Thank God. And Ian goes to give him an intro and he's like, what's your name? And they go, the Lone Ranger. And he was like, wait a minute, you can't. How can you pluralize the Lone Ranger? There's three of you. Right. Like you. Would... And they're like, I have no idea what you're saying I don't right know now. You <laughs> they don't get it at all. Right. So he hits play and the tape gets fucking well, eaten. Well, 
right before this happens, Rex, Rex is, is trying to smoke in the studio, and they're like, "You can't do that because it fucks with the with equipment, equipment yeah, or whatever." So he puts it out, but see now, this is why you have to put that cigarette out all the way, all the way, because the tape gets all screwed up. It goes super fast, then it gets all jumbled up and falls into the ashtray, ash which sets it on fire. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah the demo's wasted what do oh, we do fuck. and they're like run yes and they try to get out but there's a cop out there yep the cops are rolling up out back mm -hmm. just one just the one guy checking it out right and, and like, they make Pip go out there well he's like no I'll go oh I don't yeah he volunteers it's his van. and he was like we're gonna see what's up and he does that the cops like mirroring all his they're movements having, like, mime until he's doing like this weird dance and then he finally stops and puts his hand on his gun. Right. And like, he was like, oh, let me back in. Let me back in. So then they try to go out the front and, and there's, there's more, more cops. cops. And the sides. There's more cops. They're and surrounded. And the gal is like, excuse me, Yvonne. Oh, yeah. She doesn't even realize excuse there's me, something cause happening. Cause she's playing she's, her Sega. Yeah. So they've got it. Now they've got to round up all the staff. Right. And figure like, out what to do. Take everybody back into the booth. Like get everybody that's working here. Take them back into the booth until we figure out what's going on. So they find everybody, and then you hear Judd Nelson is lamenting about how big they're going to be after this, because he hears all this on the right, radio. Right, he's like, oh shit. Like, and he's like, this is the guy I passed up on this morning. I know, and you can't buy this kind of publicity. And now Michael Richards is in the air vents. Right. And more physical comedy ensues. He lights himself on fire with his Zippo and yes, blah, blah, yes. blah, blah. Well, they go and they find David Arquette Carter yes. over there. And what what is he talking about? I don't know, man. He's I talking about something weird and rude. And he's got that bleached hair. And then is he not wearing those, uh, not parachute pants, but the, They're, uh, oh, oh, what are they called? What they? With the patterns. They were like hammer pants. But not, not Z Cavaricis. No. Uh, Zubas. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, fuck, hold on. Rolodex, Rolodex, Rolodex. I do not have a data bus. I have a Rolodex, a and I have to like. It takes a minute sometimes. I got a filing system that's weird. Go to weird your mind up there. palace. My, my, it's like the ivory tower, and the tower is just a filing cabinet of that's fucking it. nonsense. So they get all the staff into the conference room, and they tell. And like, first Susie wants to sit in a chair, and then because right, she's like in a dress or whatever. And Milo's like, why should she get to sit in a chair? So Chaz is like, like yeah, you know what? Everyone, everyone but you. Chair, but you. Everyone but you. Right. So they get to sit around this big old conference table. So now it's nighttime. More cops are rolling mm -hmm. in. And here comes Ernie Hudson, who is like with Wilson is new. Chris Farley, like he's like, you got this or whatever. And he's like, yeah, no, I get it. You secure the perimeter. And and he's got that spiked up hair, yes. Chris Farley. It's, it always looks like Cop he was hair. going really fast and then stopped. Sonic the Hedgehog hair? Yes, a little bit. Like he was always like he's doing hierography. And the phone rings in the station. Ian mm -hmm. answers it and it's the cops. Right. And he tells them there's three psychotic musicians with guns. Mm -hmm. So they want to talk to the leader, which is Chaz. Right. And they want to know their demands for releasing the hostages. And they're like, because they didn't mean to take hostages. Right. So they're, they're like, like oh, hostages? Shit, what demands. the fuck are you talking about? So Chaz and Ian step out to talk and mm -hmm. Susie starts flirting with Pip. Right, right. They're flirting and like Chaz says, he's like, all we want is three minutes and 31 seconds of airplay. And Ian's explaining to him, look, here's the situation you're in. Right. Like you have now so taken the station hostage and you have no demo available for us to play. Was he talking about so you should play live right now? I don't think that's what he meant at the at the time. Because I feel like he did. He's like, you know what that means, right? Like, you got to... And he was like, get the other tape. And he's like, no. I Oh, I thought he was saying, like, you got to give up because you don't have a tape and you're... Maybe. I mean, maybe he was, but I kind of feel like he was suggesting that they play live. Oh, I didn't, a, I didn't get that. They have the thing. They've got instruments, I'm sure. Well, they or didn't bring them with don't. them. And then a radio they station, the radio they wouldn't. Station. Okay, maybe not. So Chaz needs the other copy of the demo, which Kayla has now just thrown out her car window. Right. 
Because she's not She isn't aware this. of all of no, what's happening. she's out in her Chrysler as big as a whale. Yes, and she's throwing it into the street. Mm-hmm. And he calls home, gets their answering machine, and now, oh my God. Oh my God, the recorded messages on the answering you guys machine. guys remember making those dumb uh-huh. ass answering machine messages? And now we're like, don't call me. Don't leave I a know, message. don't even leave a fucking my message. My voicemail is a robot that says you reached this The only reason I have number. to check it is because I can't stand the notification uh-huh. being on there. The only person who ever still leaves me a voicemail is either spam or my mother. Mm. <laughs> my best friend, scam likely, calls yes. me every day. Those are the ones that I get. Yeah, and I will not. I've gotten ones that it was like it wasn't even English, and it was just like a. Oh yeah, just I, I got one is. that was um one of our local city council meetings. Oh yeah, that yeah. somehow somebody had dialed me in to like the Zoom call, and I was hearing multiple parts. About the of the city council, council meeting, meeting and people complaining you about roads and all this shit. And I was like, I do not. But I saved it just because I was like, this is so random. Like, what the hell? I kept getting calls about a hosp- hospice care. Oh. Calls about hospice care. Oh, Who's no. going into hospice oh, no. care? Oh, no. I had gotten called by the, um, the Neptune Society. Isn't that cremation? Yeah. I don't know why I got called oh. by the Neptune Society. I was like, do you know something I don't know? So meanwhile, a crowd is now forming outside the yes, radio station. Yes, there's a bunch of people Because they out all there. hear this happening. Mm-hmm. And Ernie Hudson is telling Chris Farley, look, we're going to have to bend the law a little bit here. Right. Like, we got we to gotta do some crowd control, whatever. Yeah, like you got to get out there and stop anybody from coming up here and, you know, secure the perimeter. So Chaz is telling them, look, find my demo tape to play on air and then we'll come out. And mm-hmm. he gives the cops this picture of Kayla she was like, to yeah, find her. She's- Somewhere She's on the sunset, on sunset trip. She's out for the night. She's oh, good. A blonde in a short black skirt. That'll yeah, be easy to find. Tight black something clothing and she's blonde. And when he, well, when he gets there, we'll talk about that. And Pip is telling Yvonne very awkwardly is asking why black people don't like him. And he's right. like, I feel bad for them. I listen to rap. Like, I, I get their plight. Right. And, and then stuff. he, like, so unleashes cringy. a bunch of, like, stereotypes. Yes. About how they and get she's followed like, around that doesn't like, happen ne- to me. That's never happened I'm to me. I'm a secretary named Yvonne. Does that happen to you? <laughs> Probably. I, he's all no. Well, they're just like, I don't know if he's going to be able to pay for this. It doesn't look like he understands money. Right. So now Ernie wants a, so- a, a sausage, a hostage. As a sign a of good faith. I want a sausage as a sign of good faith. I want a hostage sausage. Hostage sausage. So they're like, okay, who are we going to send out? Right. And they're like, well, how about Yvonne? And of course, Milo's like, oh, oh, why does it have to yeah, be a why woman? Why does it have to be a woman? And he's like, you know what? Okay, you know what? Now it's Yvonne, Yvonne for get sure. Get your shit and get. You'll be home in time for The Simpsons, which uh, Mantegna is uh, Fat Tony. On the oh, Simpsons. okay. I pro- I feel like probably several of the people in this cast have had at least a one time. Oh, I'm sure of that. But voice at thing. least he's a recurring character, Fat Tony. So now outside with the cops again, and crowds making fat jokes at Chris Farley. Right? And How do you wear that belt? <laughs> and so he sends uh, Captain O'Malley, or no, Sergeant O'Malley sends him mm-hmm. to supervise the search for Amy Locaine. Right. 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 And meanwhile, Kramer's still in the air vents doing physical comedy for nobody, getting right. blasted by the air. Chaz decides we're going to take a few calls. Well, first, Rex goes, he can't resist going out to oh, flip yeah. off the crowd. Mm, of course. And yeah, and now Rex is trying to give Pip See, that's tough what guy I'm lessons. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it is. This is the one and only time. The one and only moment in time 30 years ago that Steve Buscemi could get it. I'm not arguing with you. I don't know what I can talk you out of it. I'm not asking you to talk me out of it because you couldn't possibly. (laughs) I just don't understand where this is coming from. You just have to come to terms with it. I am like way more comfortable with my like Skinner fetish than this one. Than this. I don't know where this is coming from. Yeah. It's kind of strange. It is a little bit. Like it's the, the ego, it's stuff. the attitude, it's the pants, it's the fact that it seems like that's his own hair. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Tessa hates a man with a wig. I can't with a man with a wig. Not his tattoo, though. <laughs> well, so now the SWAT team shows up, mm-hmm. and Quato's host is the lead of the SWAT team. 
Mace is his name. Mace. Mace. Like, what was it? Oh, no. It was Race Bannon, not Mace Bannon. Yeah. And, and now Quest Kramer calls and somehow gets put through to Mace. I don't know how on that his happened. Phone. I, don't, I don't know how that happened. Or no, was he on the other I phone? I think he was calling 911 to like say, oh. and they patched him through Maybe. to the SWAT team. Maybe. I guess. And they have like this conversation where he tells him his whole, that Mace tells Kramer his whole like marital basically woes. Basically fucked his wife. Yes, basically the pool boy, a.k.a. Pip, <laughs> fucked his wife, which I didn't get at the time. He was like, <clears throat> you know, like I'm, I work for SWAT, like I'm, it's a stressful fucking job. And if I leave underpants on the floor with a fucking skid mark, <laughs> sir, you are like 45 years old or 50 years old. Come on now. Were you that afraid that you shit your fucking pants? And if you did, go rinse them in the sink. Don't leave them out Just for me them. to see. No one wants to go fucking wash see your own that. shitty underpants. Nobody my husband, wants to fucking see that. If my husband that. has ever had a skid mark, I have not I've been aware. I've never seen it. I've never because seen it. Because if he's done that, he has cleaned he that doesn't on want his me own. To know. Yes. Yes, so do not leave Thank your you. skid mark tonies Nobody for your wants wife. To see Thank that you. Shit. Or husband. That was like that weird. Um, that weird moment about like, oh, you want to steal my working man? Well, he shits his pants and calls me a fucking cunt every day. What is that from? There was like a thing where like these like working class women were like, oh, you uh, cosplaying country girls want to steal my working man? Well, he his toenails are as long as fucking Texas. Gross. And he stinks to high fucking heaven. Ugh. But he's sure, all mine. Come and, yeah, come, come and get, get him. him. But he's all mine. Oh, my I don't goodness. Know. I have weird. not seen that. It was fucking weird. It was a moment. And it was fucking weird. So now the boys put some music on because if they're going to be stuck here, we're going to put on some rock and tunes. Right. Why don't you play this shit? And they go to pilfer the coffers of the radio station. Oh, there's fucking paper concert, concert tickets. tickets. Yes. The sound of a stack of paper mm. concert tickets. Remember? With the rubber band. They pull them out when you went to buy like, them. I. I hate it. Like, all the concerts I go to now, like, you have to have a thing on your phone. Mm -hmm. And then, the thing that fucking sucks is you go up to the goddamn Hollywood Bowl and your fucking phone doesn't work up there. Because there's no signal. And they don't want a screenshot of no, your thing. They want you to open the, all the app. Fucking time yeah, yeah. So no one can steal your shit. Dumb as hell. Ugh. So yeah, David Arquette, he, now he's got the handheld video games yes. and he's playing them in front of that magnifying glass and going right, he's fucking yelling, ape shit. He's like being like Marilyn Manson he's in got that like fucking ADHD beautiful people or something. video. <laughs> right? He's got ADHD. <laughs> he's like, I don't know what's going on with him. He's right. hopped up on something. Adderall. And, and this is where Chaz has Ian take some calls and right, Beavis right. and Butthead call in. Right. Like we saw you at the wheel well and you she goes, suck. suck. And he was like, oh yeah, there was always some asshole or dickwad or whatever because he's swearing on air and he's like, oh, you can't fucking do that. <laughs> right, right. And now, why the Confederate flag hat? The Confederate hat and there's like a Confederate flag. Is that in the 90s we still just went, that's classic it was, rock. It was still, it's fine. It was still okay. Because yeah, guess, at that point. Steve has a fucking Confederate soldier hat on that he found in the radio station's shit. Like, why know. is this a hat you guys I have? I don't know. Because it was r rockish. I guess. So it now, was for the preview of Kid Rock, who knows exactly how much. Oh my God, what was the comment? Legally. So there was a thing, there was a video of Kid Rock talking about, fuck with Donald Trump and you, I don't know, whatever. Whatever. But he one says. of the comments was, oh my God, please let me remember it. Kid Rock is the Fred Durst of Ted Nugent. Yes! <laughs> and I'm Yes! <laughs> The first yes. of Ted Nugent. Yes. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You guys just said you look like Dr. Phil dressed up? No, oh, that was a meme. That was that a meme. That Kid yeah, Rock, that looks, Kid Rock like looks like Dr. Phil dressed, dressed up as, as Kid, Kid Rock. Rock. Yeah. yeah. Oi. So, anyway, <laughs> they're on the news now, and Kramer's calling from the vent mm -hmm. to, and like, there's a commotion going on. He makes so many commotions well, like, that no one hears. Right. Well, because they're like in the booth, which doesn't make sense later because they hear shit outside of the booth. But you would it would stand to reason that once you're inside where they're recording, soundproof. you can't. It's soundproof. Right. So like sometimes you can hear in there and sometimes you fucking can't. And now the taco truck arrives. So now it's really time to party. Well, now you know it's for fucking real. When the taco tr truck shows up in L.A., it's a party. It's, it's party a show. Time. It's a thing. They should have had the sausage dude out there, too. 
oh. the sausage sausage cart. You know what? That's every a, time you leave a show, every if you guys don't live in California, so fucking good. But you're so scared to eat it because it's street sausage. I don't want to shit myself. But it, oh god, it where, smells where, good. Where, it's just sausage, pepper, fucking, onion. Oh no. That wasn't you. Like that was when we went to sleep. But yet, but it happens well, every we had time. To go in the tunnel, and it was like fucking. Um, it was like the whiz when they were going through the subway tunnel because, like, after the show, there's all these people walking through this underground tunnel. Is this the and walkway for the Hollywood Bowl? Yes. Yeah. 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 So like, there's also people making up like all kinds of food, like tacos and sausages and whatever underground so it's just inside a inside tunnel. this tunnel and there's full of also smells people sh- selling like bootleg t-shirts and they're all like coming at you coming at you and everyone's just trying to leave and they're like sausage smells good t-shirt fifteen dollars and you're like fuck fuck, fuck. You're getting assaulted. i just i'm I just trying to get, get out from car. underground god it's like when the whiz like when they get in the subway and the trash cans attack them your senses are assaulted it was exactly like that and you know what you do though you don't go to any of those places you get in your car and you drive to the nearest in and out -out. yes bitch you drive to the nearest in and out no and you get that animal style fry it is tradition we go to the one when you get off the edge of town you drive through that one because it's usually not that That busy. busy And you go through that when you get your animal style fries. We take that one road all the way back up to our house. And you feel much better. And I eat my animal style fries and my animal style double double. Mm. And usually a strawberry shake. I don't do a shake. I just get a Coke usually. Well, in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'm going to have that too. Also. Even though you know you're going to regret it later. I will, but. Ice cream and you don't get along. I'm going to have to have it. So, yeah, so now um, they're talking about Pip getting his hands on more bumper than a body shot. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> he's the right. quiet cool, according I know, to Chaz. I like, what's he Girls like that doing? he's, like, dumb, apparently. Right? Like, so you just act like a Fabian mm-hmm. and they'll flock to you, apparently so. And they find a crate of Kenny G and Easy Listening mm. CDs in Milo's office. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, like, they're stocking stuffers. It's July. It's the middle of July. And now we're too late on this one. It it's is the, the middle, middle of, of July. July recording it. But by the time you guys hear it, it will be August. It'll be in August. Well, it came out in August. So, yeah. But yes, we are recording in the middle, middle of, of July. July. And there's like, now we go back to the tape, the demo that's in the middle of the street and some dude with hydraulics is like bouncing, bouncing up and down on, on it, the tape. You it's know, whatever, wrecked. it's getting kicked in the crosswalk and all this shit. So now Ian discovers because of all this shit in Milo's office, oh, like, you're rebranding on. the fucking station. What is this? What is this? And you're firing everybody. I have Great. to re... Great. Uh, what do you call that shit? Restaff. Restaff, yeah. Yeah. So the cops go to check the whiskey for Kayla and We're White Zombie white is on zombie, stage. Not, not Rob Zombie. White Zombie. White Zombie. And they are playing... Uh, oh, no. It was supposed to be Cannibal Corpse. Mm-hmm. But Cannibal Corpse was just in Ace Ventura <laughs> Pet Detective because Cannibal Corpse was Jim Carrey's favorite band at oh, the time. Oh, wow. That's funny. Which... Leads me to wonder, Jim, do you still listen to Cannibal Corpse? Right? Is that true? Late 50s man doing your meditation to Cannibal Corpse? I do. And I gotta say, 1994, I'm a freshman in high school. Uh huh. My introduction to White Zombie, while probably was this movie, didn't register. A senior boy in my typing class who was a a friend's older brother, but was like the cutest boy on the football team. And he just happened to be in my typing class. And I don't remember. I think he sat next to me or something. And we ended up talking and he had his Walkman and oh. was like, do you like white zombie? And I was like, I don't know what that is. Cause I was like 14 <clears throat> and he's all here. Listen to my Girl, headphones. I, and I was like, Oh, okay. I white zombie. Sister's. So devil music volume one. Yeah, I on was probably tape. yeah. It was a cassette for sure. It was a cassette tape. It was white zombie, not raw. And zombie. I am it was still internet friends with his little sister. And I did f- talk to him briefly on Facebook for a period of time, mm-hmm. but we nothing ever happened. He was just like 
this older boy who I always had the hots for when I was that age, but he introduced mm. me to White Zombie. I saw Rob Zombie at a K Rock almost acoustic Christmas. I don't know how I never ended I up. I feel at one like of those. it was just Rob Zombie though. It was like um, the it was after they were Rob Zombie and they weren't White Zombie. Anymore. Okay, because I was disappointed because I've always had a girl crush on the Sean bass player. Oh yeah, yeah, Sean. Yes. Uslet? Mm -hmm. I always thought it was Yusult. 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 What's awesome is she would take her bass and crack dudes over the head. I'm saying, like, she always she seemed like she was a fucking badass, and I always yeah. had a girl crush on her. I always thought she was the coolest fucking thing. <laughs> and because this wasn't a Rob Zombie movie, we did not see his wife. No, thank God. <laughs> I'm just going to put my wife here. We could, okay. <laughs> were they even, they weren't married yet, I don't think, in 1994, were they? That's pretty early. I feel like it was soon after Maybe, that because they've been together 90s. a I feel long like late 90s, time. But I could be wrong. What did I see what his real name was? I forget. It's Robert something. Yeah. It was in the credits. Oh, it said like he was it said he was credited as like Robert I something. Think I what the fuck wrote did it, it say? down? I can't uh, fucking remember. I just had it open in my eyes. But IMDb. I did not hate her in and I did not I don't hate, hate her. I don't hate her, but she was annoying in the Robert fucking Cummings. Robert film. Cummings. Cummings, that's what it was. Cumming. Uh, I like that was me. I kicked. Okay. Um, I liked Lords of Salem. People didn't like that movie. I liked that movie, and she wasn't annoying in that movie. Yeah, that one I don't think I saw. I saw House of a Thousand Corpses, and that what's one the I liked one a lot. after that I liked a lot. I liked House of. A I Thousand really Corpses. liked that one, even though she is. I'm annoying telling you, in there's that. something about that fucking where they use that song at the end. The fucking. Where they're driving off. Getting, oh no, that's um, is that that's House Devil's of Rejects? Devil's Rejects. The There's fucking I like Bird. both of those. But where they did Freebird, I I, I liked, liked that, that closing too, but scene. I liked it differently. Well, that's how. I but was I like, like how the fuck are they coming back for a third one? Yeah, because I like they should be fucking the dead. Fuck yes, because that's you know like if you're gonna do Freebird and as disturbing as that out. family is and how you shouldn't be rooting for them. Something about the use of Freebird in that final scene, you were like, yeah. Well, Get away from the, the cops. Thing. That was the thing about the third one, because like Sid Haig was dying and he died before it came out. Right. It was almost like it was kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Like the family, it was kind of sweet because it was like he was in because he was in it and you could tell that he was sick and it was kind of like a love letter to the Firefly family. And I was like, no, 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 no. I want murder, <laughs> murder and mayhem. <laughs> what the fuck? This is cute. Can we have this as a behind the scenes, please? Oh, they were together oh, they, in 94. Were. Okay. They married in 02 and they've been married for dating for nine years. So oh, okay. So they were already together so by then. Together. Like right before that. I don't that. hate her and I feel like it's fine. And yes, she's she gorgeous and whatever. whatever. We could just have a picture of her ass, which is. There you go. Because she's got a great need. ass. And that's how you're in Make her a go go dancer in every movie. Sure. Give her a featured scene. Do it, please. I feel like she's a go go dancer in a lot of the videos. But in that, so while we're there and White Zombie's on stage, yes. Chris Farley gets pushed into the pit. Of course. And like <laughs> the toughs, because they see him kind of, they think he's harassing Kayla. Yeah, when he's asking, he's like, oh, this is you. Like, right, we need right, right. you You're to come Kayla. to the station, whatever. And they're Doesn't like, hey. like, good, great, fine, fantastic, or whatever it is that he says. He says that multiple times. Oh, maybe. I forget what it was. Whatever. So... I still we're okay restaffing blah I know. blah blah yeah, rock yeah. dudes stopping okay mm -hmm. oh he when pulls Chris, the and he fucking, pulls the nipple ring out that was pretty hardcore yeah well he's like you improvise yeah you gotta do what you gotta do I mean so now Kayla she bails she gets away from Chris Farley but now she finally mm -hmm. turns on the radio she and hears, hears Chaz him on the radio and he's talking about and so now she goes to find the tape which a dog has just pissed on. She cr drives crazy and blocks traffic on the Sunset Strip. <laughs> on the Sunset Strip. There's no way she made a Yui without Come on, now car. you can't even make a left fucking turn. No, no you cannot. So Milo's now tied to the chair. Mm -hmm. Chaz leaves him alone in a room, stupidly. And Rex and Pip are making their demands list with Susie. And here's their... Did you write right. down the list of demands? It wasn't all of it. It was it like, was just weird we want airtime... Uh, we want to ask for weird shit. So we, we ask for cottage a cheese and a football helmet. Cottage cheese. Nude photos of B. Arthur. Uh, he wants like a walnut bass and a dragon inlay guitar. Yes, all these fancy Nude instruments. Nude photo of 
B. Arthur, the chick from the Golden Girls. I know who she is. Ernie Hudson's like, I'm an LAPD officer. Like, I don't know, I know what kind of access you think I have. I'm the same age as the fucking Golden Girls. You know that man is 78 and years old. And he looks good. Toy. Ernie Hudson is aging a oh well. Toy, toy, toy. If toit, you haven't, toit. I mean, he's in the Ghostbusters movies, but if you watch, um, oh God, what's the old lady show? Jane Fonda and. Um, oh, uh, oh my Frankie, God. Frankie and Frankie goes to Hollywood. Yes. Frankie and, and Frankie. Rizzoli and Isles. Nope. Grace <laughs> and Frankie. Grace and Frankie. He looked good in that. He's like a love interest for. Um, of course he would yeah, be. Yeah. And he's looking for 78 years uh, old in this. The year of our Lord. And he looks almost the same. He got a little Ooh. bit of a little bit of salt he's in that got hair. A little bit of salt in there, but it looks good. Looking, looking nice, Ernie. Mm, he's got a tight t-shirt. I'm gonna tag on. you in this way. Do it, baby. <laughs> Do it, baby. Because I feel like I got Ernie nothing Hudson, but nice things to say you about need Ernie to Hudson. Be appreciated. You are holding up, my man. You sure are. Mm. So mm. now Rex is asking for a record contract as part of the demands, and, and Chas like, is like, no, no. Like, you don't ask. It has to be no unsolicited. Demand. They have to hear our shit and want us. And now Susie's coming on to Pip. Oh, what hey. are you thinking about? Swimming pools. Swimming pools. <laughs> you can get in there, splash around, spin around like an egg. Thinking about blueberry pancakes. <laughs> With a slice of cheese. <laughs> That's all he thinks about is swimming pools. Uh, and so, yeah, they, they're they ma- making out on this leather couch. Mm. And Kramer's on the glass table behind them like fucking watching. watching. Them. That doesn't surprise me. And this is where you find out Chaz's real name is Chester Ogilvie. Oh, shit, because that's what SWAT's looking up all their shit. Right. Like, give me their he records finds the or yearbook. whatever. He's like, oh, ho, ho, ho. what's this shit? And meanwhile, Milo, who's tied up inside, is still using his mouth to make phone calls to try he's to like, sell ad space. Right. But like when he tries to get out, when he's like, <laughs> oh, God, I did not like it. I didn't like it. He's like knobbing the doorknob. No, th- yes, it's he's like full- it's so ineffectual, dude. You're just Use doing your that chin, because you bro. like it now. Use your chin. What are you doing? You're doing it because you're into it now. You're you're gonna break a tooth, man. And now Pip's getting laid. I know. She's squishing his face <laughs> with so- her frosty pink fingernails. And the van's towed away, and all the cops find in there is toys and pool cleaning gear. And the SWAT guy's like, pool cleaning gear? Hold on. Oh, my God. Now he's pissed. Get me this on is the, the dude. fucking phone. This is the dude who fucked his wife. And, right. like, no, he doesn't even know for sure. He just hears pool, cleaning, pool gear, cleaning gear. And it's, are you telling me this you is the only pool man in L.A.? Van from when you caught them together? You didn't recognize fucking, what did Pips we say it was pool called? Pool cleaning service? What did we say it was, uh... The Fido Dido. You oh, recognize Fido Dido right. on the side. That's what I'm saying. You I almost recognize- said Chip and Pepper. Oh, y'all, Chip and Pepper's making oh. a comeback. No, they're not. Their clothing line is really. Uh huh. Chip and Pepper wear is coming back, and I just remember them as hosts of a morning TV show. But apparently, they had a clothing brand. Tessa had to take her headphones off. Y'all remember Chip and Pepper? Wow, that they were blonde surfer dudes who face. hosted a. They didn't. Do, it wasn't no, a show. Was they like just a, introduced like cartoons. It was like bumpers. Yeah, it they even, did like bumpers for Saturday was, morning cartoons. Like, what was their fucking deal? Just because they were twins, and they have a clothing brand that was like a pretty popular surf clothing brand. Why is brand, it I think. giving me Anchor Blue? Were they sold bit. exclusively at Miller's Outpost? Ooh, maybe I don't know. And why is that also making me think of Dan Cortez? Did they have long he did hair? That MTV Sports and maybe know, they were maybe surfers. Was, maybe they were also surfers. I don't know. We had to look up Who, Chip, Chip and Pepper, Pepper. Like you know, they're Chip. Twin Canadian. Twin oh, Canadians. They're Canadians. I thought they were Australian. So they're did I. Winnipeg, Manitoba. Winnipeg, Manitoba. They did. What's that about? Cartoon Madness. That's okay. What it was. Yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> On NBC. Oh. No, oh, she's not having shit. an orgasm. She just remembered Cartoon Madness on NBC. They opened a store called Golf Punk. Was Golf Fido Punk. Dido on Animation Madness? No, it was Cartoon the 7-Up Mad- mascot, but I don't know if it was anything else. Oh, yeah, that's right. Was there something else that was on? I'm a, we're going to have to look up Cartoon Madness. Cartoon Madness! <laughs> 
<laughs> that short that we saw with Kyle Mooney, that series that he did, it was spoofing those guys. Where he was like, oh, the SNL guy, Kyle yeah, Mooney. Saturday morning all star hits. Oh, oh, okay. He was spoofing Chip and Pepper. All right. All right. Wow. All right. Yeah. That was, a, that was deep in the vault. That was Holy deep in the vault. Holy shit. Yeah, I had to leave. because That was, was so dusty. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dusty thought. I haven't thought about that in forever. Not since we Blow did the MTV or Nickelodeon episode yeah. like a thousand years ago. Uh-huh. Wow. Wow, I don't know. Because, I don't know, something about saying whatever the last... What you was it? The, said it. Oh, I the Fido Dido. Something oh. about saying Fido Dido made me think of Chip and Pepper. I don't wow. know why. Wow. And because I just saw something recently about them having that their clothing line was coming back. I can't back. even imagine. You know what the other thing I saw? Oh, fuck, what was it? The one with the gecko. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's com- and it was Quick called Silver. Gecko. Quicksilver. Quicksilver's coming back? Yes. What about that little alligator on the co- polo shirt? Lacoste. Lacoste has been around. Lacoste had, never went nowhere. Yeah, never went nowhere. Lacoste never left, bitch. <laughs> so, where are we? Where are I we have in the movie? no We're fucking at, idea. Uh, Ian asked the band about their tattoos. Mm, oh, Chaz yes. has barbed wire around his bicep. Who didn't want that? And a you gecko. What, speaking of which, he had a gecko. You know what bothers me so fucking much? Uh, we talked... Uh, it came up earlier about how this is back when Tommy Lee was still married to Heather Locklear. Yeah. But you know what bothers me so f- fucking Jones. much? <laughs> Pamela Anderson's crooked ass barbed wire tattoo. Uh-huh. It's crooked. You've seen it. I haven't paid and that, attention to that in that's a long That's what time. started. Well, that's what like opened the fucking door to me. Was like, how are these people with all this fucking money getting shitty tattoos? Right? You can't afford a nice tattoo? I mean, Chaz good looked tattoo like artist? decent enough, and he like sponges off his fucking girlfriend. Seriously. So yeah, and then he has the Grim Reaper on his oh, back the, because the, the Grim Reaper is stalking it's like me. Like death is stalking me. I gotta me make I this happen. Better get off my ass. And it looked like a skeleton cowboy. It didn't <laughs> even look like a fucking. And Ian, so Ian goes on the air and he's like, look, it's the final night, effective Monday. The station goes easy, easy listening. listening. And everyone in the parking lot is like, Boo. But we're getting, a, we're having a special segment, getting to know your armed, armed assailant. assailant. So he gives Chas the mic and he's right, like. He's like, you want to be heard. So here you go. What do you got to say? And he's, he's like, like, oh, fuck, you put me on the spot. I don't fucking know. And they're like, look, you sold out the forum. You're standing in front of 20,000 screaming fans. What do you say? Rock and roll. Warp speed, Mr. Sulu. Oh, this is the whole thing where Rex was like, what do you want him to do? Make a fucking speech? What does he sting? And I would have thought he should have said, what is he, Bono? Yes, Bono is what comes to mind when you say give a speech. Every time I clap, a child dies. Stop clapping! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are God. you doing, Bono? Bono! Why are you killing children before right. our very eyes? I mean, if they were talking about having tantric sex, then sure. Then we sting is what, yeah, yes. But if they're talking about making fucking speeches, that's Bono. 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 So yeah, rock and roll. Yes. So Kramer goes up and gets this gun from the SWAT mm-hmm. team because they've decided he's their man inside. Right. Even though he's an accountant for the radio station. And right. he has no he was desire like, We're to get be you a the gun. And he's like, fuck, dude, I don't want this shit. The gun that they hand him. And it's like a little baby Uzi or something, right? I know. That's what I was asking. Like it's either an AK forty seven. It's some sort of semi automatic. The ones that they have. Yeah, it's whatever the like SWAT team like, has. It, it, it's a heavy gun. So yeah, so he's um, he goes and hides again. Whatever, Milo right, right. rolls himself to go pee, but or is he? I, yeah, like instead Marcus he goes to his office Carter and finds. Like, what are you doing? They find. What are you he, doing? And that's where they don't hear him. They don't hear them. No, and they don't hear him because they're in the booth. And he finds Susie and Pip screwing on his fourteen hundred dollar leather couch. If you leave one stain, it's and he, we see you know almost all of. Adam Sandler. You know there's like a sweaty butt cheek mark and probably a skin it's mark. leather. Come on. Gro- butt shrooms. In the middle of July. I'm sure it's air conditioned, but like. But not enough. It's Los uh-huh. Angeles. Uh-huh. So the power goes out. 
Well, now. <laughs> While Pep, Pip is naked. <laughs> He's really going to start sweating on that couch. And now Harold Ramis is knocking at the door. Oh, shit. I'm a exec from Capitol you, Records. Yeah. So You're I'm, the hottest thing since Marky Mark. Fuck Marky Mark. And so they're like, look, pop quiz, right. hot shot. Yeah. Quiz time. What side did you take? In the Van Halen, David Lee Roth scandal. Oh, Van Halen. Come on now. Bitch. He's a cop. Bitch. He's a cop. Nobody chooses. Nobody. I'm sorry. R.I.P. Eddie Van Halen. I know. You were he, a musical shreds. Genius. he shreds. He shreds. He's always shred. shred. But Diamond fucking Diamond Dave. Dave. You sold him out for Van fucking Hagar? Sammy Hagar? I can't Sammy drive 55. Sammy Hagar. What are you, you doing, guys, man? If you are not for David Lee Roth, Dave you lost are his not hair the Doom line, generation. <laughs> but you lost your cool, buddy. Oh my god! But like, as a small child, oh, David Lee Roth was Van Halen. Was the only fucking thing going when he would do the splits over that drum set. Oh I my live god! And fucking die. Come in on that wire. Oh shimmy, shimmy, gimmy, dimmy, shimmy, bimmy, bimmy, bop. <laughs> Ah, I ain't got nobody. No that was a solo. That was a solo. Oh, that but was still. a solo album. But still, I, I love Neeson. Nicole, She's all that's. Do not sing, bitch. That's a solo. Shut up. This is my solo. This is my solo. <laughs> I do not need a company, bitch. <laughs> no, that's a solo album track. <laughs> But to this day, I love me some David Lee Roth. Oh he crazy God. as hell. He I will love him hell. until the day I fucking die. I love David Lee Roth. So the second question is, who would win, Lemmy or God? Oh, no. Who in a wrestling match in a wrestling Lemmy match, or God? Yeah. And he was like, mm, Lemmy. Lemmy. Trick Wrong. question. God. Lemmy Wrong. is God. So now we're outside. Rex and Chaz get mobbed by girls. They're outside for some <clears> reason. <throat> right. Chaz He's starts, like, what the fuck is this, O'Malley? You sent in a fucking narc. And Chaz starts a Rodney King chant. Why? Because they're in Los Angeles. Everybody's all. What? Why? Why is he Why shouting? Are they fucking Rodney saying King? that shit. Because he's not ready even to get like police, police brutality. Oh my god! No yeah, one's that's, gonna beat the shit out of you. That's Chaz. a verb. P- police brutality. It is because it happens mm-hmm. a lot. We had to make our and own. in that time. The LAPD, in particular, Rampart District, was a huge fucking problem. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Look it up. I ain't got the time. So Kayla finally arrives. Chaz is up on top of the cop car. Mace oh. Mace grabs her and he's like, oh, did you know Chaz's real name? It's Chester. Chester. She's like, why do you keep calling him Ogilvy. that? And he's like, all right, I got something to tell you. I was a geek in high school. I played D&D. I collected I short bugs. Hair. And I ate my boogers. Why would you admit Don't admit that? that part. Shut up. Shh. Everything else is fine. Right? The rest is okay, but you probably still eat your boogers. Don't tell everybody that. If you I did, mean, like, then at the you very probably least, still like do. if you you got like a fucking nose goblin <laughs> collection under your chair. Oh my god. Okay. I had a boyfriend who shared a room with his younger brother, and they had like the bunk bed loft beds. Is this a little brother thing? Because my little brother did the same thing, and there was a collection in the in between where the little brother would reach down. And wipe his boogers on the wall, and there was just these crusty, yeah, this whole row goblins. of crusty boogers. My brother also had bunk beds, and, and there was something about there was a little <laughs> on the wall that? boogers. Sorry, bro, if you ever hear, we won't this. say your name. I will not. I mean, they're gonna fucking. But also, f- they're gonna find you. Mac tonight is coming tonight. He for called. You. <gasps> he's coming oh, tonight. he called on his big flying piano. He's coming through the window. <laughs> Oh, Mac tonight. Did he? Did he have any? He didn't. He sang right. Know. He what sang was Ray the, Charles song. Yes, I feel like yes. I feel like that's right because he wore sunglasses. <laughs> yes, and, and he, he had, had a piano. <laughs> you were like piano, and I'm piano, like teeth. sunglasses. Yeah, piano key yep. teeth. <laughs> so. Kayla knees Mace in the mm. nuts and runs to Chaz and kisses him. She doesn't care, whatever. No. Oh, because well, at first, 
They all start, the crowd's like, admitting they're a D&D nerd. I too. Yeah, yeah. And Lemmy was the editor of his school's magazine. And Stuttering John masturbates a lot. <laughs> Which is probably true. I mean, probably Still true. And that day. also was... Was that not his hair? I feel he like he did have hair, that right? hair in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah. And they're so, like, we're with you, Chaz. So she gives him the tape inside. They get inside. Kayla gives Chaz the tape and it's all fucked up. They're it's like, all broken and pissed on and whatever. What the fuck am I supposed to do with this shit? And so they start arguing. You're a right. bitch. And she throws a fucking right. chair Calls through the Yoko. window. Yes. Which it was not her fault. First and of all, it was not her fucking fault. Apologize to Yoko. Her music is terrible, but apologize to her. She did not break up the fucking Beatles. No, she no, no. Not. I mean, she's not a good musician. No, you can that's hate what I'm her saying. for her, her music. music is fucking terrible. You can hate her for a tiny butt. But that's crack, not her fault. And you can hate her for her shitty music. Oh my god! But you guys, you cannot hate have her you seen the photo? Beatles. It looks so real. I know. The photo of sense. John and Yoko. It makes fucking sense. It made fucking from behind. sense to me that but John Lennon his would have a real gigantic long? fucking butt crack and Where Yoko would have a really small? tiny one. And it's fake, but it looks so real well, and it's even so the disturbing. Real one, even the real one. She's got a much tinier butt crack than he does. But he's all crack in the Photoshop version. I know. Photoshop it's like version. halfway up his fucking back. It's, it's like a like, back sack and, and crack And he has like whack. square buns. I know. It's like. <laughs> he has like a flat he's ass. He's got like lady ass. He's got like secretary ass with a gigantic butt crack that goes like I halfway up I've his ass. I've never seen anyone with a crack that long in real life. No, never. But I believed I ever, it. I did because it seems like he would have a fucking butt crack that long. He also walks. I know he walks he like walks he's got like a long he's got crack. A crack that long. I don't know what it was. <sighs> but so yeah, so she throws the chair through the fucking glass into the mixing boards mm-hmm. like a fucking bitch. Yeah. And she's out of fucking control. She is. This is not his house. This is a fucking radio station. Well, she fries the fucking board. Now they can't play the goddamn And now tape. he's like, I love you. And picks her Tell up me. over the glass and oh my god. All Which she's could- at that age you're like no. And now you're like, bitch, no. why did you just break everything? They were about to get their demo on air, and now you just fucked this I shit know. up. I know, and all you want is to be a rock star wife. And I don't know. She wants to not have to work ever again. Well, because she works in a shitty office in yeah, her well, body suits. that's what we have to fucking do, That's bitch. what we have to fucking do to support our husbands. <laughs> this is what women's live is all about. <laughs> fucking band rock and roll dreams. So now the cops are finally meeting the demands list. They got the football helmet right. full of cottage cheese. They Wilson got the giant is baby bottle. Himself, like he is scooping. Someone is literally scooping cottage cheese into a football helmet. And this is where Milo is trying to get out with his mouth, which is disgusting. But he he does it. And the band sends the hostages to get the stuff from the demands list. Right, right, right. And they're like, oh, yeah, go grab that shit. And Rex is like showboating and his gun gets caught in the door. In the door and breaks and they can see that it's hot sauce. It's like, fuck. So Marcus is like, he takes the opportunity. He's he like, you motherfucker. Because <laughs> he told him already, I'm going to hit you. And him and David Arquette run out into the crowd. Mm-hmm. Mm. Milo gets sprayed in the eyes with hot sauce. They're going to like arrest Marcus. They're going to like tackle Just and because arrest. he's black. So now scream Rodney King. Now go ahead. He's a hostage. So. He was a hostage because they're like, there's no gun. There's no gun. It's, it's a, a plastic toy. gun. It's plastic. So Kramer's hand comes out the vent with a gun and tells them, don't move. Back up to the wall. Right. So Ian smacks him with a baby, the giant the baby giant bottle. The giant baby bottle. And then the he gun drops, drops the gun. And it, go- how is nobody hit? Not only inside, but also outside. Because it- this is a lighthearted comedy. Oh, that's right. That's the only reason no, no one, one got was hit. fucking tagged right between the fucking eyes. So now the cops are like, oh no, they really oh, do shit, have a gun. That is a gun. Fall back. So he gives it to Chaz. He doesn't want it. Right. Ian, Ian gets like, it. He he's like, I don't want hands up. It. And he's like, I don't want this shit. You take it. Rock and fucking roll. And Rex sprays Kramer in the face with a fire extinguisher. You fucking cockroach. Chaz calls the cops up and talks to Ernie Hudson. Mm-hmm. He's like, what the fuck was that? And now Jimmy Wing shows up at the door for their record contract. Mm-hmm. And he sees as he's passing by and he sees the naked photos of B. Arthur. And he's like, B. Arthur. 
outstanding. You know what? It possibly could that have been. That made me laugh. That one She part. might have been fit when she was younger, just like that Like, Phyllis what era Diller. B. Arthur are we talking? I'm just saying. But the way like he's like, Phyllis Diller thing, She might have been fit as fuck. You don't know what Phyllis was going Diller on. Phyllis Diller was looking good. Phyllis Diller was talking. Apparently, they were going to do a fucking comedic women's, like they were going to make jokes in Playboy about, like, comedians, uh -huh. comedians, whatever the fuck, and they were going to have them get, like, semi-nude and whatever, and Phyllis Diller did it, and they're like, oh, shit, she's too bad. She's too bad. This we isn't make funny. Jokes about this. She cute. She had that wig on and everything with her leg out, looking svelte as fuck. Mm. Fang would die. <laughs> <laughs> so Milo offers to negotiate for them for 10% of their pre-tax gross, and Ian's, Ian's like, nah, make it fool, five, five, you fucking slug. But you do need them. Right. So isn't there's another isn't knock at the where, door? Isn't that where Susie was like, "Oh, you should," because my boyfriend, my ex boyfriend, yes. he was a model, and he went and did a deal, and they stole his shoes. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? So now David Arquette wants to come back in. He gets dragged off by the cops. Right, right, right. And now there's this one little scene of Chaz eating a microwave burrito where they really thought they were going to do an Encino Man reference. I know. And they did not do it, but he no. sprays the hot sauce the, from yeah. the machine gun onto the burrito. Two minutes. So now the contract's all written up. Chaz signs it. And as soon as he signs it, he realizes, wait, you never still heard our You haven't even demo. heard my shit. He's like, doesn't matter. D the publicity for this is insane. It's we don't need to good. hear it. And... With our lawyers, rock stars don't go to jail. But he wipes, he literally wipes his ass with the contract. Right. He, he sticks like, it no down deal. his pants and throws it back at Milo. And Ian loves this. Well, and that's when he tells him, like, no, you don't want to fucking do this because rock stars like, don't go to Vince jail. And he only did 30 days and he and killed he somebody. He did only do 30 days. He killed Razzle from Hanoi Rocks. And that is why he is cursed to look like a bumble for the rest of his fucking life. Do you remember how pretty Vince Neil was? I feel like dude looks like a lady was written about Vince Neil or Brett Michaels. It, it One of the been two. Either. One of the two. I feel like that, which which is not to say that Nana Steven isn't a piece of shit because we talked about that <laughs> yes, before we too. Have. He tried to have his teenage pregnant girlfriend killed. Yes, he sure did. Allegedly, allegedly, let me cover us legally. According to her. According to her, that's what it sounded like to me. She told him she was she was pregnant and like within a couple days, some dude showed up and an accidental down fire fucking... happened in their apartment while she got drugged. Allegedly. Allegedly. It was about Vince Neal. It was about it was Vince Neal. About Vince Neal. Okay. okay, see, that's what I'm saying. Now he's cursed. Because he killed somebody and only got 30 days. There was a hefty fine. I feel like he had to pay like millions that was of about dollars it. or whatever. But he killed Razzle. Yes, he did. In a uh, ooh, Ferrari, Corvette, Porsche. One of the matter. three. He was already drunk. They were like, we need to get more booze. Of course. You know. And I always get that one mixed up with the true Hollywood story or... The behind the music with Leif Garrett, where he like paralyzed that guy. Oh no! And they had that confrontation at the park. You remember that? Did you ever see that shit? Yeah, it was. I, I feel it was like, like I, have. I feel like it was the Leif. There was a Vince Neil thing behind the music where they talked about that, and also a Hollywood true Hollywood story about Leif 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 Garrett, Garrett. <clears throat> where he paralyzed a guy. Okay. In the same That's situation, possible. kind of. I feel like it was it's also a car accident. So what? De Tommaso Pantera was the car. De oh, Tommaso De Tommaso Pantera. Pantera. Is that the kind of shit you get when you're a rock star? <laughs> Apparently. I never heard such a thing. I, that's why I couldn't fucking come up with it, because I never. <laughs> that shit's made up as of today. Car. All I right, I bet know. it's fast. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, Jenny anyhow, calls Officer O'Malley's like, these guys are completely out of control. They right. have more demands. Right. So because that's what he's like, well, like the fucking board is fried. Because so how are we going to play this, this music? He's like, well, so they have a a stage, stage flown helicoptered in. in. Yes. And it's got all the instruments, whatever. And they mm -hmm. go up. And they, why does only Adam Sandler get in this Lone Ranger outfit? Yes, there the, was that, the but Lone they Ranger. show like the outside with all the news and fucking Kurt, Kurt Loader, Loader, who is, is there. also, by the way, damn near eighty years old. Yep. And I want to know, 
Where's Tabitha Soren? Right. What Whatever happened hear to from her? Tabitha. I learned all kinds of important shit from Kurt Loder and Tabitha Soren growing up. Oh yes. That was my news source. Mm -hmm. MTV News was bum 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 bum. And only when it was Kurt Loder and Tabitha Soren. And was it Kurt Loder who says right here that like John Landis is gonna <laughs> film this fucking M this fuck? Video? I hope not. I fucking hope I not. Because like if there was a said. helicopter involved, you better watch your fucking neck around John Landis. Fuck! You don't want that shit. You don't want that shit. Look that up. Jonathan Landis and a helicopter. If you're not aware. Just Google those two things together. See what comes up. So they take the stage, hostages in the wings, and Jimmy just wants them to lip sync to the track because none of their shit's plugged in. They're right, like, what they're the like, fuck? What the fuck? There's no juice. And they're like, yeah, just, it's a music video. You just right, lip sync. Like we'll pipe it in. Her. And they're like, no, don't make us be lame. Oh, yeah. Which this, well... I ain't farting on no snare drum. Right. Like you could, you could, you haven't even heard this shit. And like Jimmy's like, pissed. look, I'm not going to do the deal if you don't do this right. video. Us and our lawyers walk. So the tape starts up, the fireworks start, and mm -hmm. Chaz immediately like lets go of the they guitar. They the mamas and the papas. Did you see that shit? To let them know the mamas we ain't and lip the papas syncing. were on a show and they were like, they made them lip sync and so they <laughs> ate bananas. And made it very obvious. Nice. They did not have a uh, Ashley Simpson, Millie Vanilli oh. situation. Oh, you caught. seen that meme about Millie Vanilli watching people get famous for lip syncing on TikTok? Yes. <laughs> yes. Really? Well, Rob you ended no our career for this. Because Rob has left us. Rob didn't even He's get watching to Watching from heaven. With, with Falco. Falco. <laughs> Falco. Oh, my God. Uh, uh, uh. Was that not the boxer guys in Forbidden Zone? Did they not make that same fucking noise? Was that not the <laughs> thing? What was their name? I feel like that was their whole thing. The geeks, yeah. So they're breaking up their in instruments on stage. Yeah, the Ian's climbing up the stage. Cut to them, or no, first they stage dive well, the crowd the from a very like high way, height. Whoa, like whatever. And when they were singing, it's it's an actual song by Reagan Youth. Okay. The, the degenerated, Johnny. but I was yes. like fucking hearing Doom Generation. Doom yes! Generation. Doom Not Generated. Doom Generated. Oh, doom Generation. Somebody make us a Doom Generation version right? of Degenerated. Mm. So yeah, they all stage dive, cut to the Lone Rangers live and in prison. Yes, their so they're debut doing the Johnny video. Cash thing. So yes. the lawyers and the label walked. And Ian's but, their manager. Yes. I was like, fucking Rody. Of course he's the fucking manager. And they're doing the Johnny Cash thing, only they're actual inmates. And they'll only be there for three to six months. Three if they behave themselves. And that weird Rex doing the pelvic thrust and they're all like, hey, man, I know the prisoners are looking at you. Weird. Well, I Whatever. mean, he's pretty. He is. See, the prisoners like him the best. They know too. what's up. They know what's up. Did they see Brendan's hairless chest, though? I don't want to talk about what that might have done in prison. <laughs> So you see a little closing thing that they served three months. They went triple platinum. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. They did. Triple live, Budokan, fucking <laughs> intensity and ten cities. So yes, for a silly comedy from the nineties, it's you fun. Can't, it's, it's not. Fun. It's not bad. It's a lot of fun. It's not a critically acclaimed film. No, it really isn't. And I'm but not gonna say it. Should Brendan be. Fraser is in it. Yeah. Adam Sandler is in it. Steve Buscemi is in it. Michael McKeon is in it. And how did it doom us? It doomed Tessa to want to bang Steve Buscemi. I, okay, now, now, not I'm back doomed. then. I don't know if I wanted to back then. I don't think I. Think I don't I remember neutral. wanting to. Yeah, I don't think I wanted to bang anybody but Brendan Fraser. Yeah, but like, I don't know. It's like a Skinner thing where it's like now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm looking at what's real because I feel like that hair is his. Stroking he that looks flavor good in those saver. Pants. He's like an asshole. I would have fucked that guy. He's the bassist. I stay in the rhythm section. Oh my Drummers, god! Drummers, bassist, give them to me. They're oh easy. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so that is Airheads. Yes, and it's been out for a few weeks now. But mm -hmm. if you guys haven't heard, 
we have a new thing We're happening. Doing a thing. This week in Doom. Yep. Every Wednesday, you're going to get a mini-sode where we talk about current stuff. We're mm-hmm. watching, listening to, reading. There should be a couple out by now, Yeah, two? there should be a few out by the time you hear two, this. Three, we maybe? didn't advertise it in advance because no. it was just a spontaneous Off decision. The cuff. Um, let us know if there's, like, feedback. stuff you... Feedback, but also, like... If you have suggestions of right. or if you watch, you thought was really good or listen to. If you have a discussion that you think you could start, we could do it. But yeah, those will be on our main feed. Um, we we will start doing some TV series on our Patreon. Yes. So if you want to get some deep dives on some of your favorite old TV shows. Or our favorite old TV shows. True. <laughs> Patreon.com <laughs> forward slash Doom Generation. Uh, go to our website, DoomGenerationPod.com. Mm-hmm. Uh, for links to all the things and uh, that's all we got for you this week all right so and we'll talk at you next time later Later, doomers. doomers